shot 21% from three in two games in Philly. Eric Spolstra looking to get his team back on track in Miami. Heat up when they head back south. We didn't really generate enough uh, good looks. Our offense was really, you know, flat. And I thought tonight, um, I thought we actually had some really good looks. Um, you know, we just missed them. But, you know, that that's uh, part of the game, you know, part of the playoffs. Sometimes uh, you, you, you don't make shots, but you still have opportunities, uh, to, you know, to, to grind out and, and get a win ugly. Uh, we weren't able to do that tonight. We, we were close. We were banging on the door. Um, it just felt like uh, those last five minutes, they had probably a handful of possessions that went all the way down to the, the final end of the clock and, and made some big shots where we're defending for, you know, 24 seconds, 23 seconds, uh, 22 seconds, and uh, and then they would hit a big one. Um, you know, I thought we were in, in a decent position to try to turn this into a possession game going down the stretch, even as poorly as we shot. Uh, we were just competing and and, uh, and and trying to get it in the mud, but you know they made some made some big plays down the stretch. Kyle seemed to be grabbing the Hampshire a few times during the game. How was he doing physically? Yeah, was we'll just have to get back to Miami uh, and, and see. You know he's such a warrior um, that uh, um, you know we'll, we'll we'll just have to see. You know, there, there's nothing, uh, you know, right now. I know to outsiders, they might look at Dwayne's limited minutes in this series and figure he's a big player, but it seemed like without him tonight, with Bam in foul trouble, with Tuck in foul trouble, how tough was it for you to get bodies out there against Joel and manage that power rotation? Yeah, I mean, that, that's part of it. Um, you know, that potentially obviously could have really helped, but uh, we're still there, you know, to be able to make some plays. We did have to manage through that, that foul trouble. Um, but that's always going to be, um, you know, reality uh, against this team. You have to be able to defend and do it with great uh, discipline. Um, and we, we felt like we had enough, you know, just to turn it into a possession game. What we needed was probably three of those key stops at the end of the clock, and then let's see what happens, you know, going down uh, on the other end. So specific to the three-point shooting, did you consider it all going to Duncan? I did, yeah, yeah, um, and then obviously right now, you know, you look at the the percentage, uh, you know, that's a, a, an easy conclusion. But um, you know, I, I, we still had some really good looks, uh, and and the guys that that got the looks are some of you know we have great three point shooters uh, on on this team. Uh, it just seemed like this kind of flipped, you know. Uh, I think it seems like Philly was saying the same thing in, in the two games in Miami. We're saying. Uh, the same thing here, um, but look, we pride ourselves on being able to find different solutions to to win, um, and this one, you know, we we felt like we could have pushed, you know, to be able to to get this one in the grind in the mud, um, but again, those big threes and big shots they hit uh, down the stretch just uh, didn't allow that. Uh, obviously, with Joel re-entering the series, it changed the dynamic. Are you feeling you're getting a better grasp on that? He had 15 in the first quarter, and then either whether it was him or you guys slowed him down a little. Is this sort of a process now with Joel back in into, into it, with you adjusting your approach to him? Yeah, I mean, ultimately it's competition, you know. So it's a two-game sample, so it's not like you have you know a, a full sample. But we're, we're we're talking about you know two really good teams. This is high-level competition, uh, uh, and it's uh, a slim margin for error on both sides. Uh, and you just have to make, you know, plays at, at timely moments. Um, you know, I, I think for the most part, uh, defensively, we weren't able to really uh, impact them. You know, certainly not in the first half. They were in a great rhythm um, been able to get to whatever they wanted to get to, uh, including their role players. Um, we, we were able to disrupt that kind of rhythm a little bit more in the second half. But uh, again, those plays uh, uh, at the end of the clock were, were really um, you know, crippling. In terms of you know, the process and the fight of it, how did you feel about fronting Embiid specifically and how that went? It just depends. You have to do it in a lot of different areas. Um, yeah, I, you know, I thought like we did that you know, as, as, uh, as well as you would hope. Um, you know, he's not the easiest guy to be able to try to prevent from catching the ball. Uh, it was a lot of the other play, plays in between, um, and, and some of their uh, support players really hurt us. Uh, Harden obviously was was great uh, 
uh, in those moments down uh, at the end of the clock. Um, you know, they, they got contributions from really everywhere across the board that you needed to, and, and we were unable to prevent that. I know it gave me two losses, but what has Jimmy found in these last two games, especially in those third quarters where it just seems like he's super aggressive? Jimmy's a, just an elite competitor, and, and he, he knows what's needed, you know, for the, for the team. And, and we were treading water, you know, and we're, um, they were starting to pull away a little bit, and he knew they had to be more assertive. Uh, he was our best uh, offensive option, you know, to be able to attack in the paint and um, get his quality look. Uh, I thought we had other good open shots uh, from that. Um, you know, we weren't able to knock those down, but hey, we still want those, you know, our guys letting it fly. I, I would like to see a few more threes, you know, um, see if we can generate a few more of those, um, particularly the way we can shoot the ball. Uh, but again, right now, you know, I just need to get to the film and, and see what's real and what's like emotional. <laughs> Even if Denver was available, were you thinking of going small and kind of seeing how that would work? Did you I mean, like that's that? always a possibility, you know, with us. Um, but Dwayne definitely would have played it, certainly those minutes with uh, uh, against Embiid. But that's not, you know, the reason. I mean, we, hopefully, you know, Dwayne will feel better. We still had our opportunities with other guys stepping up with the foul trouble, with all of that. We needed. Uh, you know, three or four real finishing possessions uh, at the end of the clock and, and to a rebound, um, you know, and, and, and just to see what would happen on, on the other end. Ms. Robinson, could he help uh, Bam offensively? Just could. With his group? And then I guess also how difficult is that sort of offense, defense, um, you know, we want to – Help this end of the floor without your, you know, but you know, we know that that might hurt this end of the floor. How difficult is that? Yeah, this is, you know, what. Uh, each team has to manage uh, during the playoffs, um, and we have incredible depth. Um, you know, I, I feel for, you know, our guys that are not uh, necessarily playing because they, you know, have every. Uh, um, you know, right, you know, and, and opportunity, you know, based on uh, the season, we have we have great depth. Um, you know, that's why I don't want to, like, come to any conclusions right now, you know, particularly, you know, just 20 minutes after the game where it's emotional and it's always easier to see, like, oh, well, we shot that percentage from three. Um, I just want to see what's real and, and what's, you know, not. I, I thought we still had great quality looks. Um, and we're, we're a great three-point shooting team. Um, you know, we just weren't able to knock those down. I think the bigger story was, um, you know, not being able to defend them, disrupt them, uh, keep them off the free throw line at key moments. I, I think that was. I think our our offense probably would have been good enough to give our, ourselves a real good chance, even the way we were, we we're shooting from three. Um, but we weren't able to get the kind of consistent defensive stops that we're accustomed to. How concerned are you, though, that there's too much pressure on him right now offensively and he's not getting enough help? Do you know how fast that can change, though? You know, all of a sudden, if, uh, we have so many ignitable guys. You know, you mentioned Duncan, but the same thing with Max, the same thing with Tyler, Gabe. Like, they see a couple go down, that can turn into four, five, six, like that. Uh, and that's what I want our guys thinking about. I want them being gunslingers. Um, coming out firing and, you know, us playing the right way, the way we're used to doing it. Um, but that ignitability, that, that can change in a hurry. All right. Okay. Thank you.